Hello everybody. Uh, recall that I was uh, working on a wireless smoke detector. Uh, this is the first alert uh, smoke detector. What I have done, I merely add the wireless feature into the smoke detector. And uh, what I'm going to present to you, of course, is not a prototype because uh, it's not technically my design. I merely uh, retrofit the wireless into the the device. So today I'm going to present to you the world first circuit breaker that is uh, retrofitted with the wireless receiver inside. So upon activation of the smoke alarm. Let's say I'm running a missionary or, uh, or server 24 by 7 unattended and uh, let's say there's uh, smoke and what this does is will immediately uh, trick the circuit breaker without need for human intervention so thereby eliminating any uh, monitoring or anything like that because this is a single version anyway I don't need the, the, the internet smart thingy because uh, at times I'm uh, located in places where there are no RF coming in so this uh, thing I'm doing here is a standalone whereby this smoke detector will trigger this circuit breaker wirelessly and of course uh, this is used for my own use uh, for server case the smoke or even I can use it for machinery or even can use it for battery charging equipment upon detection of smoke trick the circuit breaker so now I'm going to present to you how this works as you can see the circuit breaker is uh, enabled So I'm going to press this button here to stimulate the smoke alarm or smoke alarm test which also increase the current consumption at the battery which then also trigger the, trigger the circuit. I'm sending uh, multiple uh, uh, transmission uh, pulse in case uh, one did not go through. So at the transmitter side, I created the loop upon uh, the, the ATC values below certain point. It will trigger the uh, uh, a couple of uh, uh, transmit uh, uh, signals over to the receiver. So only one will get through to activate this alarm. So in the meantime, this smoke detector will be in a standby mode, which consume only 0.4 microamps for the smoke alarm transmitter circuit only. So, so I'm going to switch off the power and equal. Put the load in it. Of course, uh, for this has been using a pure sand wave motor. So let's try one more time. So, as you can see, this uh, circuit work as expected. 
So now I'm going to show you the most interesting part of the circuit, the circuit diagram. As you can see, the smoke detector transmitter, the transmitter, which is uh, running on a CR2 battery over here. So what I've done is like. Uh, using this uh, resistor 0 0.33 ohms uh, resistor SMD resistor 1 watt rated to act as a current sensor since uh, this microchip I'm using 10LF322 only contain a 8-bit EDC which is more than enough for this uh, task so at VCC the ADC will uh, uh, produce a value that is uh, 255 right so once through the resistor we detect a drop when the current concentration is increased so this value will no longer be 255 it will be like 254 or lower so by triggering the uh, NEC protocol in this case, which is transmitted a couple of times until one will eventually trip the circuit breaker. So let's move on to the receiver side. The receiver side is slightly more complicated. I'm using all SMD components, uh, a bridge receiver, a microfuse which is uh, 250 milliamps and uh, one microphone for 150 volts capacitor ceramic capacitor which is also SMD and this uh, model of regulator 3.3 volts output which has up to DC 700 volts based on my short skip test uh, at 3.3 from the mains it's able to give me 16 volts, uh, 16 milliampers, right? And uh, the, this is the how it works. Uh, from the uh, uh, once it receives a signal from the 43 megahertz receiver, which goes to the 10 LF322, and this will trigger the solid state relay. And this is the model I'm using, CPC1025, which is uh, 400 volts straighter, but low current. Anyway, I don't need high current for this uh, switching. So, this output is, is connected to this, uh, uh, the solid state relay is connected to this switch. Acting as a, a pass uh, for this circuit breaker, but I am disable uh, this switch over here by cutting out the, the what they call the, 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 the probe from this switch. So, technically, I'm using the, the test on the circuit breaker and also the test on the smoke alarm to derive this uh, world first circuit breaker that is deactivated by the smoke alarm and uh, based on my uh, research through the internet there is no such device as this at the current moment so maybe after I create this, this video there will be some other better version commercial version uh, presented to the public so at this moment this is what can be achieved My, my original intention was to uh, conceal the antenna within the device but I find that 433 MHz uh, it's not easy to uh, minimize the antenna unless uh, you're using a, a Bluetooth device 2.4 GHz then uh, this uh, device may need to be placed on top of the machinery or server 
Station Smoke uh, goes up. We have idea to eat it in the city. So, that's it, guys. This is the, the world first. Of course, uh, the con the, the, my concept is a prototype, uh, one of its kind. Never exists before at this current moment. But it would be nice to see if uh, some companies uh, can come out a commercial version of this uh, circuit uh, for the uh, professionals uh, or the industry. That's it. Please subscribe my video if you like my video. Thank you.